Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Black Friday. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, back now. Uh, a little bit better um, than I did in that last video. I feel a lot better. So, taking on the Bengals, once again, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not 100 sure on what their playoff Clint scenario is. Um, I'm assuming, as I went back and looked through sort of the standings, I'm assuming, this is an assumption, they need the Colts to lose, and I think like one other team to lose, to lose this game and uh, make the playoffs. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that. Once again, like I said, I've, I've done it in my wishlist video. I kind of wish the game would tell us these sorts of things, um, but yeah, uh, I'm not 100% sure. 100% sure on what their clinch scenario is. A win definitely helps them. A loss, for sure, hurts them. But uh, they could probably still win, or they could probably still lose and still get in. Went through our last uh, regular season practice, and uh, no one got hurt. Some fatigue, but not nothing, nothing major. Just sort of plus one, which is fine by me. Want our guys mostly fresh heading to the playoffs as we are taking on the Bengals here. Week 18, it is cold. Taking on uh, Jamar Chase. I, I, I would say that's a down year in terms of the actual touchdown. Only five on the entire season. DK Metcalf. He might have had a game with five, if I'm being honest. So, here it is the flyover. We're taking on the Bengals in their all-black unis. And uh, very strange matchup. I still have a little bit of cough, sorry. Uh, kind of a strange matchup, a Week 18 matchup for Seattle. It feels like Madden doesn't uh, take into account how the NFL does the schedule now, which they want to put more uh, divisional games on the back end of the schedule. This would have been like a Week 7 game instead of a Week 18 game. Uh, we probably would have been playing like the Rams or something like that to close out the season. Instead, we got through our division uh, pretty quickly throughout the season, so... 36 touchdowns to 13 interceptions for Joe Burrow. Burrow here. Going to get this one out to, I believe that's Tyler Boyd for a pick with a seven. Now he's going to come back again here. Second and three. Going to be a handoff to Mixon. Mixon. Every time I play Joe Mixon, this guy, uh, he's going to have just, he just has like one big run and it's just like Jesus. So, uh, yes, that's a guy that always, I think ever, <laughs> I'm about to cough. I think everyone has sort of that one guy they play against as Tyler Boyd makes a big play right there. I think everyone just has that one guy in Madden's where, like, no matter what, that dude's uh, going to just beast on you. As we get an interception right there, Sean Murphy bunting, who has been a... That's been a great signing for us. Uh, I don't want to say he's, like, locked down necessarily, but uh, he has been opportunistic for us. And, uh, yeah, read that one perfectly. Uh, Burrow, that th that thing never had a shot. So Sean Murphy bunting with the interception, and that is going to put us on the field. Nate English coming onto the field here, leading this Seahawks team as uh, 49 touchdowns to 20 interceptions, 4,300 yards. So we're going to start off with a handoff here to Kenneth Walker, and we're going to try to keep an eye on sort of the ticker below, kind of see where the Packers are, and... Uh, yeah, so here's a nice throw out here to Terrell Jones. Just trying to get some of that yardage back, make third down a little bit more manageable. Third and seven, and uh, we get pressured right away. If we would have had some time, that could have maybe been something, but we uh, got pressured right there, so we had to punt the football away. So here comes Burrow back again, throws this one. And that one's going to be to T. Higgins. And he's going to get all the way to the 40. He's probably going to tack on an extra... 15 for roughing the passer yeah roughing the passer and uh yeah not good i, I probably hit the square button late but you know whatever first and 10 gonna be a slant right here to t higgins again comes right back to higgins throws that one tight throw right there and the Bengals, they have some big receivers. Like, their three guys are kind of really big body guys. And then ba uh, the Bengals go for it again right here. And that's going to be an interception. Sean Murphy bunting gets this one. 
And uh, he wins the matchup right there against Jamar Chase, which is very nice. Burrow just kind of throws this one again and just never really had anything. Gave this guy a shot to make a play. It is Jamar Chase, so I feel like it's never a bad idea to let that guy make a play. There's DK Metcalf. We find a hole in the zone right there and just rifled that one right in. Did not let the linebacker sort of have a shot to make a play on it. And, uh, yeah, just really good. Put it on his shoulder. Good throw. Second and 10 now. We come back. English going to throw this one underneath to Noah Fant. They'll make it third and five. We're going to go quick hurry up here. Trying to just find a matchup here that we'd like. Going to call an audible here. Not an audible. Hot route here with Dwayne Eskridge. Who Eskridge has sort of filled in pretty nicely as our wide receiver three right there as he makes a play. Picking up the first down. Had to really drift back in the pocket. Uh, to make that play. And uh, we go play action here. Deep ball here. DK comes up with the football. Gets his both feet down. And that's a first down at the three. So we are cooking here. First and goal. Quick throw right there. Terrell Jones gets the touchdown. And we are on the board here. With the first score of the game. See the Falcons right there in that ticker below. Leading the Panthers. So, uh, keep an eye on them throughout this video as well. Gonna need, uh, they're gonna need a win probably to get in. So here's Burrow throwing this one across body to Jamar Chase. Just an absolutely amazing throw that, you know, if I tried to make, that's getting intercepted, picked off, pick six. CPU, they just make those regularly, and there's a fumble. Puna Ford picks it up to the 20 10 5 fat man touchdown puna ford very nice right there it's kind of weird i have better success with running things back with the fat guys than i do with like defensive backs i don't know what that's all about in madden um but either way uchenna nuosu made the play got the strip sack stripped burrow and then puna ford had the eye on the ball right there and takes it back to the house so we go up 14 nothing here against the Bengals, and look at Joe Mixon just shoving a guy off here, finds his way through traffic right there, and Joe Mixon, like I said, every time I play this guy, it's a play like this that's just sort of like, you know, Joe Mixon's a good player. I, I don't know if he's, uh, I don't know if he's, like, that good. I mean, geez. You know, but he did have, like, four touchdowns a few weeks ago in real life, but, yeah, Joe Mixon... Taking that one to the house. No one can catch up to him. I'm kind of surprised, surprised Tariq Woolen couldn't catch up to him. He has 99 speed. So still the first quarter. Throw this one. Perfect throw right there. Nate English to DK Metcalf on that corner route. Absolutely burned the, uh, the defender on that one. And perfect ball placement. Those are the type of throws that we really couldn't make last year with all of our uh, quarterbacks that we had. We get Kenneth Walker. We get him in sort of the passing game right there a little bit. I, I want to get the ball in his hands more, and I think plays like that are just a perfect example of why. So we come back again, another corner route here. Metcalf comes up with the football down at the six. Just goes up, beats his man. That sounds kind of weird to say, beats his man. Uh, but either way, DK Metcalf with a nice play right there. So I'm looking at what I want to do here. And, you know, this kind of looks like I could run it here and then really doesn't go anywhere. So, uh, Kenneth Walker still at negative yardage here. Then we have all day to throw here, but just nothing breaks open. And Eskridge, I wish he would have kept running to the pylon, to the front pylon. And then I think we could have had something right there. Instead, he kind of just stays where he was. So we come back again here now, third and goal at the five. We come back again here, English looking on the run again, throws this one up. And Terrell Jones uh, just can't get his feet down. So just going to take the field goal here. Going to take the points instead of uh, trying to uh, force it. Because, uh, you know, if I went for it and wouldn't get it, like Joe Mixon would have like a 99-yard run. So, yeah, Mixon, he's in the zone. They go play action. And uh, Marco Estes makes up for that roughing the passer call earlier. Gets a sack. So now second and 15. Have all our guys on the line. No one can get to Mixon in enough time right there. But we do stop him short of the first down. So third and one. 
He's already up over 100 yards on the day, so third and one here. And we actually get to stop here on mixing. He tries breaking a tackle, and then he gets finished off here by Quandre Diggs. And we get a key stop right there. And our defense has been doing that really all season long. Uh, when it feels like teams are about to get a little, a little bit of momentum, um, someone just comes up, makes a big play like that, and that's Quandre Diggs playing down, making a play, and uh, forcing a punt here. And we finally get a nice run here for Kenneth Walker. So he's now finally up over positive yardage on the day here in the second quarter. So we come back again here, and DK Metcalf, who else, beats his man almost immediately. Touchdown for Metcalf. And uh, I forget what the record's at now. I want to say 28, I think. Up to 28 touchdowns on the season. That's going to be a mark that I don't think anyone's going to beat. Maybe Terrell Jones can beat one day, but... DK Metcalf, big play right there, beating his man one-on-one. -on -one. They tried playing press coverage. I don't think that's a good idea to press DK Metcalf, but they keep doing it. So now third and five, Burrow. We got to stop right there. Um, surprised that Mixon wasn't on the play. Or they didn't go to Mixon with the Chris Evans instead, not Captain America Chris Evans. So we're paying a big play here. Terrell Jones, I tried turning more towards the left. Couldn't do it. Uh, one of the break tackle animations sort of just kept me stuck in that animation where I was going that way. So kind of the game kind of put me into the path of the guy. That animation right there, I was kind of stuck in it just a little bit too long. Couldn't break out of it. So now first and 10 again. And we go up for Metcalf. And I don't get an animation I like. I uh, kind of wanted an animation where he jumped for the ball. Didn't get that. So now he's out of the zone. So now second and 10 play action look here and uh throwing this one to Terrell Jones he gets it in his hands but can't bring it in so now third and ten looking here going to th up to Terrell Jones again and he can't make it so take a couple shots at the end zone there couldn't get anything and we're just gonna kick the field goal here so we're gonna go into halftime should go into halftime with a 20 point lead over this Bengals team so, we get the field goal right there, and yeah, we come into, here's the end of the first half. I don't usually show this stuff, but since the Bengals are kind of, I'm not sure what their play, once again, don't know what their scenario is, but we'll take a look here at this uh, Colts game, and the Colts sitting at 9-7. and seven. I'm sure a win here, they win the division, so I'm sure the Bengals are probably hoping for a... Colts victory, I, I would assume, possibly. Not sure. Either way, Jamar Chase makes a play right there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really have anyone that can match up with Jamar Chase too often. Um, you see Jamar Chase, they start getting the ball to their best player right here. And uh, maybe they realize, hey, we don't exact... I mean, as good as Sean Murphy Bunting is, can't exact... I wouldn't say he's a perfect guy to match up against Jamar Chase. You know, uh, uh, yeah, he's not that type of guy. And once again, these big body guys they have just making play after play. And uh looks like the bad luck they had was in the first half, not the second half here. And uh yeah, so first and ten again here. The Bengals looking, gonna find Tyler Boyd. And that's gonna be short of a first down, second and in inches. So they come back again here. Joe Mixon handoff, and he gets it, powers through like three guys. And comes up with the first down in that play. Now second and five. Burrow looking. Scanning the field. Throws. Spins. Finds Jamar Chase. And Jamar Chase is going to be down at the 13. So that's a first down. Another great play from Burrow. Just buying time in the pocket back there. Second and eight now. Hand off to Mixon. No one is going to touch him on that one. So Mixon, another touchdown on the day for him. So, yeah. They come back here a little bit here on us. Now third and ten. And we try to make a play here with Metcalf, and that was not very good. Uh, yeah, threw it right at the DB right there. So now 39 for the Bengals. Burrow looking, throwing. Nope. Those at crossbody finds his man right there. That's T. Higgins. He gets a big shot right there, but he holds on to the football. So the Bengals, they're cooking here in the second half. Mixon here. And uh, there's a complete whiff of the tackle right there. Big play for Mixon again. 
up to 159 yards on the day. Calvin Lewis making the play to keep him from scoring the touchdown. So now Burrow looking again, tries to step up in the package. The package. The pocket. That's where the package is. So, fourth quarter now. And the Bengals, they've controlled the ball for most of the second half here. And third and four, they come back again here. Quick throw right there to Hayden Hurst. Or actually, that's a completely different guy. I thought it was, I, I just saw a white tight end and assumed that might be Max Williams instead. So now Burrow looking, scanning the field, throws this one. That one is incomplete. That, that, that was Hayden Hurst, actually, that he tried going for. Burrow going to come back here to Higgins. And that's going to be at the one. So they have a lot of options here. We're defending against the run, but they actually go play action. And Uchenna Nwosu comes up with the sack right there. His second of the season. Or, of the season. He's had a lot more than that. Second of the game. Uh, would have liked to fumble, but I'm not going to complain because he, he had a bunch of options. We run committed right there. And, uh, yeah. Not sure about the play action on that one. Uh, but uh, Nwosu comes up with the sack. And that will force them to kick a field goal. And that will make it a 10-point game here as they nail that one as McPherson makes that. So here we come here and we get one to Devontae Hunter. I'm sure that's his name. I know it's Hunter, but I don't know if it's Devontae or DeAndre. I'm sorry. I think it's Devontae Hunter. Either way, big play right there. They went for the swat, couldn't get it, and he picks up the first down right there. And uh, he can't believe it. It's like, come, come on, someone hit him. But either way... They stuff us here. On, I mean, I, it is a two-yard pickup, but uh, yeah, not a great run right there. Running between the tackles in Madden 23 is kind of frustrating because it feels like there's times when you should be able to get the first down or a couple more yards, but you kind of get warp tackled. Either way, Courtney Rice picks up the first down right here. Then we come back to Noah Fant, and he picks up the first down right there. So second half, we really haven't been able to do anything offensively. But now we're kind of getting something going here. This time, kind of underneath game with our tight ends. So that's pretty good right there. Second and four now. We're going to come back here. Kenneth Walker kind of gets stumbled right there. Trying to pick up the first down. And he gets a third and three right there. So we're going to come back again here. And we're going to go to TJ Spillman. Rookie, to, uh, rookie running back. He hasn't gotten too many carries this year, but... First and uh, we get a first down right there when we come back first and goal. Kind of the same look right here with Spillman trying to see if we can make something happen. Kind of we pick up a yard. But one of the things we are doing here is we're taking a bunch of time off the clock right here. And Metcalf couldn't get over that DB. So we kind of just uh, threw a risky ball right there. English throws this one up and Terrell Jones comes up with it. Touchdown. Tyrell Jones, his second of the game. And I feel like we kind of forget about Terrell Jones because, you know, he has been having a great rookie season. But, you know, DK Metcalf has been the, the star of the show here. But Terrell Jones has probably had a pretty historic uh, rookie season. So that makes things very tough for the Bengals to try to stay in this football game. And uh, here's Joe Burrow again making just a tight throw right here. That one to T. Higgins. They come back again now. First and ten. Burrow, wide open, Hayden Hurst in the open field, gets tackled at the 10. So they're going to come back again here. We try audibling to a different defensive look right there. He had a few guys open on that play. I think he had Jamar Chase running right into the end zone. We're going to call a quick timeout here. 56 seconds left. So Burrow looking here, throws this one up. That's almost intercepted by Nwosu. That would have been insane if he could have made that play. Third and goal. Burrow going to find Hayden Hurst. And that is just, I, I can't even complain. That's just a great throw by Joe Burrow. Put that ball where only Hayden Hurst could get to it. Let's take a look at that again. Burrow just throws that one. And yeah, I mean, just perfect. Put it out there right in front of him. And he gets the feet down. Touchdown. Bengals. Going to need the onside kick here. Let's see if they can get it. And they don't. Terrell Jones gets it. I accidentally hit the jump button, so he gets, like, flipped in the air. But we come up with the onside kick right there. And that is going to do it here, probably, right? Third and three. We try getting the first down, and we can't get it. So 
Going to have to punt the ball away. Uh, Ten-point game. They have no timeouts. 20-some-odd seconds, and we get a really good punt here. I am proud of my punting game this year uh, on Madden. I have done a very good job punting the football. Um, yeah, so Burrow throws this one up. Trying to go for the interception. Can't get it. Second and 10 here. They're just not getting much here at the five. Burrow just throws this one up again. We gave up a big sort of play like this last <laughs> last week. As I'm about to cough again. So five seconds left. Burrow, third and 10. Are there playoff hopes on the line? I don't know. They lose this game. So they're going to fall to nine and eight on the season. That may or may not be it for their season. I'm Once again, I wish I knew for sure what the scenario was. But yeah, we come up here 34 24. We get a win. Look at that cool transition. Nate English, 17 of 30. Completion percentage was really good in the first half. But the second half, I don't know, they just sort of tightened up the defense a little bit. And uh, yeah, we got like two drives in the second half. And it was the one where we went three and out. And then the one where we uh, scored the touchdown to trial Jones. So that was pretty nice. Kenneth Walker, 17 carries, 54 yards. Wasn't his best day. But, uh, yeah, Terrell Jones, big day for him. Two touchdowns. DK Metcalf, five or seven. Hayden Hurst. He's another guy that kind of, like, goes off on me a little bit in Madden for some reason. Not sure why. But, uh, yeah, other guys. I mean, T. Higgins had a great game. Uh, Devontae Hunter. I had his name right. I know my team. So we come here defensively. Take a look here. And uh, Uchano Nwosu, two sacks. Marco Estes, a sack. And again, our, off, our, our offensive line kind of stepped up, kept things clean, uh, did not give up a sack again in this game, so that's pretty good. We had two interceptions, both both in the first quarter. I believe all of the turnovers we had were in the first quarter, so um, wish we could have spread those out a little bit more uh, throughout the game, but, you know, either way, getting turnovers is pretty good and kept them from scoring, so uh, yeah, yeah. Pretty good performance going into the playoffs. So Sean Murphy bunting. He gets an upgrade, which I love to see. We're going to go with slot with him. Trying to get more press coverage. And we don't really get that. We get man coverage, play rec, and catching and awareness. So uh, not a bad upgrade for him at all. Pretty good upgrade. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more, but it is what it is. Hayden Peterson, our rookie uh, defensive lineman has been very good this season and we're gonna go power moves pursuit strength and plus two tackle so would have liked some block shutting there he already has a pretty good block shutting rating but here is the playoff field we're gonna be taking on the falcons uh the Bengals just barely get into the playoffs looks like the titans came back and won that game so the colts don't make the playoffs so I, I think I think either way, I think a Colts win, the Colts would have been the four, and the Bengals still would have been the seven. So they their playoff chances might have been safe. I'm not hundred percent sure. Gonna be taking on the Falcons, who we did play in week nine. We beat them just barely, 24 to 21. And uh looks like we jumped out to an early lead. We played them last time, and then it looks like they kind of stormed back on us. Uh Nate English in that game. Three touchdowns two interceptions and then Desmond Ritter one touchdown to three interceptions in that uh, first matchup so he's been looking to redeem himself a little bit uh, that game was on the road so this game since we won our division is going to be a home game for us so uh, they have to travel to Seattle maybe we'll get some inclement weather highly doubt it um, you asked me how do I doubt it um, mostly because when we uh, go to this next screen here, we don't get anything that says like blizzard or anything like that. So I don't know if that means we're not going to have any like bad weather, but I'm assuming that means there's not going to be any bad weather. They're sitting at nine and eight and we're sitting at 13 and four. So the Packers, obviously, since we're playing here in wildcard weekend, must have won their game. They went 14 and 3. We went 13 and 4. So they are the one. We are the two. So 
Uh, hopefully we don't have a wild card letdown. That'd be very disappointing. Uh, we've been playing very well uh, since like the middle of the season. So hopefully we can get a win against the Falcons. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit like, be sure to subscribe <laughs> as I try to keep <laughs> coughing. And I will see you guys in the next one. I should edit those coughs out, but I'm not going to. So leave a like for not editing the coughs out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.